Carly is definitely very hyperactive. Some of the things that Harley's doing that I don't love are he walks me on the leash instead of the opposite. You're choking yourself. He likes to chew on some things. I have a chair outside that he really has kind of destroyed. At times, I feel like I don't quite have control over him. Help! Nice to meet you. Good to meet you, I'm Brad. This is Harley. Here it is. At least he's not cute. Not at all, and he knows it. He's not fulfilled. Yeah. I mean, that may not be what you thought when you called, but you're calling me because he's not fulfilled. It took an incredible amount of discipline to get where you got, accomplish what you did. I just need you to be as disciplined about raising your dog. I'm not going to train him. I'm going to train you. I thought my training days were over. Nope. <laughs> There's three other people in the yard. How many others? I, I know. I who, see. Trust me. I see. How many other people is he me. doing it to? Yeah, I know. Good boy. You look at his tail. Look at his head. It's up. His chest is out. He's got a little swagger to him. Stay right there. Watch. Shh. Up. Good boy. Up. He's kind of stuck in the house being your buddy, which he likes. But like, there's more to it. In. No, in. I, I, I did go in first. You're going to have to make changes and it's not gonna be easy. That's easy. Walk in. Nice, good, now follow through. Yes, give me some. Give me some. <laughs> I can't believe it. At the end of the day, I just want Harley to be happy and I want him to still be playful and energetic but not have so much anxiety. It's like learning a new skill on any kind of event in gymnastics. Just because you do it once doesn't mean you can then go compete it the next day at the Olympics. Your dog is really good, has incredible instincts. It's dying for leadership. All it takes is a little bit from you and he's doing it. So you have to follow through. You don't win an Olympics overnight. Boom.